Guys, Mr. Catlin here looking at lesson one of your homework. You have to draw a right angle, and uh, most of you guys should be able to handle that. Right angle is going to look like the corner of, whoops, of like a square, a rectangle. That to kind of know that it is 90 degrees. How do you know? Uh, it looks like corner of a square and it equals 90 degrees straight angle which I'll draw over here looks like this how do we know that it's a straight angle uh, is it looks like a straight line looks like straight line and it measures 180 degrees. All right, some basic info that you need to know to so relate later, complementary versus supplementary angles. Equilateral triangles, angles each have measure of 60 degrees. Can you put these together to form a straight angle? Well, let's see. If you take a straight angle and you split it up into 60 60 and 60 that would equal 180 degrees because three of them perfectly make 180 so yes three sixties make 180 degrees there's proof of it right there can you put copies of an equilateral triangle together to form a right angle? Well, let's see. If you do a 60, which would be roughly here, uh, you'd try to do another 60, which would put you out here, go past the 90 degree mark. So, no, this would have to be a 30 degree to make that into a 90. So, no, let's see, uh, 90 degrees is not a multiple of 60. That's why we can't have it happen. Alright, and then number three. We've got a square with some regular octagons. And let's see, it wants us to find the angles inside the octagon. So, like an angle right there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go right here and focus in on this. Okay, so if if we can kind of draw that out a little bit, we've got a 360 degree circle, and at the center of it, we have this angle coming out here, and we have the square's corner right there, which we know because it's a square is 90 degrees. So here's what we have happening. We have unknown, we're going to call this X from the octagon corner down here. And we have unknown X from the other octagon, which is equivalent on the other side. And we have 90. And all together they make 360. So I'm going to write this expression, or these, this equation. The 90 degrees from the corner of the square plus the two unknown X's equal 360. If I solve that, I know how big the corners of the octagons are angles. So, two x's would be the difference of 360 and 90, which would be 270. And then we just need to take 270 and divide by 2, and that would be 135 degrees inside. So, 135 degrees is the angle measure inside for each angle. Pretty simple. It looks like it's obtuse and it shows that. And that's how I can use 360 to help me figure out what that is.